what's up what's good what's going on family so let's jump straight in and try to find out the strongest energy let's see what's going on this is the double major arcanas so this is going to tell us what the universe is shaking up in Sagittarius's world, okay? I'll look at it, but I'm going to put it back in. I do feel like that the universe is trying to bring in some divine equilibrium. It's been a long time coming, but I do feel like that there's something. I'm just spirit is telling me this is the message. Um, I feel like there's something is trying to balance out here, guys. Let's jump straight in. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Very particular messages for the ninth house collective ninth house transits so um but even with that being said guys general messages take what resonates and bless someone else with the rest okay so we have justice coming in so what the universe is orchestrating right now is divine equilibrium right now um as i stated i feel like that this has been a long time coming i feel like that as things are shifting and as things are balancing out spirit is asking you to pay attention to the details this particular card is not even supposed to be in this set it's supposed to be in my double court cards but the knight of pentacles wanted to show face which is letting me know one you could have a virgo energy give me just a second guys okay so anyways there's a need to really pay attention to the details this could also be like since a virgo spirit guide that is with you for me, that's what the Knight of Pentacles really means to me. There could be a Virgo spirit guide that is orchestrating this divine equilibrium, divine justice to come in. But most importantly, make sure that you're paying attention to the details. Don't get too rushed here today, Sagittarius. This is what the universe has. This is what's going on strongest in your energy ordained by the universe. So this is major arcana events, okay? We do have the uh, hangman at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like that this is saying that spirit is put you in. in a, like there's nothing. Basically, you're in a surrender position right now. There's um, not much that you can do except for go into flow. I also feel like that there is this energy that spirit is asking you to surrender. And I'm going to call it based off of the cards entitlement. But here's really what it is, Sagittarius. God bless. Here's what here's really what I feel this energy is. It's feeling like that even though no one else has been able to accomplish something or like someone's been trying to get someone to not do something, but nobody's been able to do it with success. But it's like Sagittarius, even though you may have this special gift, you enter into situations uh with no cautions and no precautions at all. You throw caution to the wind and you just go in it because even though nobody else could, oh, I can. And while there may be some truth to that, it still does require a level of planning and a level of getting into alignment with the universe so that you can receive the communications to be able to construct yourself and your gifts in the ways that are in alignment with the divine and not from an ego perspective. Okay, so there's something there. Don't be too hard on yourself, Sag. I'm not going to be hard on you. Well, before we go in with those, Spirit is telling me to come in with this. So we're going to get three cards from this deck for the situation, the challenge, and the way through it. Or not the way through it. Let me get the situation, the challenge, and where the divine is, the outcome the divine would like you to have balance the universe is trying to get you to a place of balance but you must be willing to embrace this journey along the way so the situation here is um there is you're being recognized okay you are being recognized for the hard work and, and if you're recognition for your hard work it is coming okay that's the divine equilibrium divine justice there's something that you have not been getting um your accolades or your recognition for and the universe is acknowledging this and the universe wants you to know that there will be 3d acknowledgement for your hard work coming very soon okay now the challenge here is expansion it says pursue bigger and greater if, uh, endeavors so this does require you to get out of your comfort zone okay there is something that you're being called to do um that is outside of your comfort zone and trying to control the comfort zone of this situation isn't really going to help you because where you're headed is balance okay 
So let's see. Let's not drag this out. It says juggling too many tasks um, at once. Find time for yourself. So Spirit is trying to get you to see where you keep on putting situations, people above yourself, and then wondering why you're not getting recognition because you're sacrificing your uh, admiration, your uh, your acknowledgments for the uh, pedestal of someone else is what I'm really getting. You're, you're restricting your own growth here, Sagittarius. So let's see, what's going on here? Show me Sagittarius. How is Sagittarius currently showing up in this energetic space here, Spirit? See, I keep seeing that as a female because I definitely feel like that this has something to do with where you're meant to um, gain your prosperity from, with your life purpose that you're meant to be mastering at this time. Show me Sagittarius, your spirit. Thank you. So we have the Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands. Yeah, see, this is telling me that Sagittarius, Ace of Swords, this is Sagittarius putting in so much energy into wish fulfillment. This is Sagittarius really putting in a lot of energy, a lot of effort to overcome the challenges. There are a lot of challenges. There's a lot of competition at stake right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot coming at Sag. And Sag is having to keep their eye on the prize in order to gain their wish fulfillment here but i do feel like um maybe you're not feeding into situations the way that you used to and you're still not receiving the reward you're still feeling like you're not gaining some type of wish fulfillment even though you've done a lot of work and you've done a lot of putting a lot of effort to do things differently here So what is the opportunity here for Sagittarius? What is the opportunity here for this Sagittarius collective? I will say this, Sagittarius. Um, if you can find, if you can allow yourself to operate less of a airspace and more of a balanced space or an emotional space, but a balanced emotional space, an emotional space of fulfillment. I do feel like that you'll be able to see your way through this pretty like you'll, it, you. The vision will clear up. Let's see. What is the opportunity here inside of this situation spirit? Things do look like they're upside down right now. So the opportunity inside of this situation, wow, is justice and the uh, Queen of Swords. So that's Libra energy here. The opportunity is exactly the strongest energy. So the strongest energy taking place in Sagittarius' life right now is justice. Right? The opportunity here is for justice and the Queen of Swords. Cut through the shit that is preventing you from getting your wish fulfillment. Cut through the shit that is preventing you from getting your um, karmic retribution, your karmic justice. It's like you're, the universe is trying to give you karmic retribution, karmic justice. Like you've put in the work. You are being gifted an opportunity to to like receive a gift to receive the recognition like i see you the universe is giving you an opportunity for you to like the universe is telling you i see you sagittarius for the work that you've done but you're feeding into the small mundane conflicts and it's preventing you from seeing wish fulfillment your gifts your acknowledgement your accolades it's time to cut away things that no longer serve you. You're definitely being gifted some type of new opportunity. A passionate opportunity at that. But it does require you to find peace and embrace your current state. Okay? What is the challenge here for Sagittarius? What is the challenge here for Sagittarius for...
the Queen of Pentacles in the Page of Fire. So the, the challenge here is for you to actually nurture this spark of creativity. Actually nurture your desire to be adventurous. Actually nurture your desire to be able to get up and go. So what this is telling me is I have a Sagittarius that is having a hard time finding balance in their life. Which is why the, like where the universe is trying to get you to is balance. Because I have a Sagittarius that is like a very, like they have a lot of responsibilities on their plate. And so Sagittarius where you're naturally fun and vibrant and willing to just go, get up and go and just have fun. I feel like that your responsibilities have drawn you away from that. And because of that, it's like you're every time that you're being gifted this new spark or creativity it's like you're not able to pour into it you're not you don't give it you don't give it the the life force that it needs to go and to grow okay and so you're not allowing yourself to expand outside of the box here what is the way through this challenge here for the sign of Sagittarius spirit? What is the way through this challenge here? Oh, that's a whole book. Well, it's only three. We have the High Priestess, the, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Trust your intuitions. Like, here's the thing, Sagittarius. Here's the thing. There's some things that you're looking at as a burden, and it's not really a burden. But because of the way that you're carrying it and the perception that you have about this responsibility, it weighs you down and it prevents you from being able to take flight. And even if you're able to take flight, you're not able to land on the resources that you need because the burden is heavy. You know what I'm saying? Even though you have the ability to, to flap your wings and to land light on your feet, it's still even though you can flap, your land is still heavy. Because of the perception that you have on these uh, of the responsibilities that you're going to carry. They, that this new journey is going to have. This expansion is going to have responsibilities. Yes. Are these responsibilities going to be easy? No. But do you have the resources that it takes to, to carry these? Absolutely. Um, but it does require you to change your perception. And really, you know, make sure that you're managing your resources. Cut out any type of... Uh, continue continue to take thank you spirit continue to cut out any frivolous habit uh, spending okay but I do feel like that you have the resources to navigate these responsibilities especially if you're willing to trust your intuition rely less on your two eyes and more on your third eye okay yeah absolutely because there are sudden changes coming in and I feel like that there's something that you're looking at as a burden right now. But if the tower was to come through and strike out what it is that you're feeling weighed down by, I feel like that this is something that would break your heart. So if you can change your perspective on it before the tower has to come in to lighten your load, do so now. Okay. What is the likely outcome of this situation here for Sagittarius spirit? The two of wands is the likely outcome. So there's definitely some planning. Yeah. Planning that it's going to happen. Like it's going to lead you to celebratory energy. You know what I'm saying? I do. I feel like that you're going to be gaining a clear understanding on what it is that you're wanting to celebrate and what it is that you're not going to pour into anymore. I am not going to just because something looks like it's it's going to be more of a challenge to maneuver. It doesn't mean that it's the end. And it doesn't mean that I have to uh, lower my vibration. It just means that because I am elevated, that the universe has a higher level of respect and trust in me to navigate this. And who knows, um, others may come along with you. I do feel like that this is for someone that is leading others along the way. Because there's something about you that is meant to expand. What you're doing now, from the perspective of what you're doing now, it's too restricting for you. You're meant to expand here. <clears throat> I 
What is something that the Sagittarius Collective can surrender here, Spirit? To help them navigate this energy. <clears throat> what is something that Sagittarius needs to surrender to help them navigate this energy? Yeah, surrender the obsessive thinking. You're obsessing about a person or a situation. Um, turn this dilemma over to spirit. Doing this will help bring you clarity and or even help you solve the problem. And then we also have surrender the fear. Um, it says, let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby steps. Absolutely. And then at the bottom of the deck, we also have surrender your ego, cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but but humility will help further your goal. Yeah. Spirit is drawing me into something. I'm going to go with this deck because that's what I'm feeling. And remember, guys, this is a major arcana reading. This is something that you're going to have to endure one way or another. You can't run from this. When major arcanas are at play, this is divine order here, okay? So this is what's good. Whatever it is that you're currently facing, this is going to help you navigate this, okay? Acquiring and applying this lesson here is going to help you navigate that. It's going to help bring in wish fulfillment. It's going to help you to start seeing wish fulfillment versus finding the petty conflict. All right, Spirit, what's the word here for Sagittarius? What's the word? Hmm. Thank you, Spirit. Tame the negative thinking. There's definitely something to do with the negative thinking here. Um, it says, when negative thoughts arise, express the feelings behind, um, experience the feelings behind them, and then shift to a larger, more co uh, compassionate perspective. Ask a dream for guidance. There's something about your dreams. There can be some messages coming in. If you're seeking some sort of information, Spirit is encouraging you to seek that, that answer via a dream as well. But I will ask you, there is a strong calling for you to surrender the negative thinking here. Because Spirit is bringing in some type of acknowledgement for the work that you have been put in. Been put in, in whereas you feel underappreciated, undervalued. But if you're focusing on being undervalued and, and this negative Nancy is pulling you out of alignment for this of this admiration, this recognition, this opportunity for expansion. That is going to help balance things out for you. All right, spirit. What's the my all right, baby girl? What's the word? Are you gonna help us close this up? Thank you. So we have generosity. I am abundant love. Change me, divine beloved, into one who can easily send blessings to all, even those filled with negativity and fear. May I shower the planet with love, knowing here is an unlimited ocean within me, or knowing there is an unlimited ocean within me. And then we also have mystery. I rest in the unknown. Change me, divine beloved, into one who rests peacefully in the unknown until the right and timely actions are shown. I offer the mystery to you alone. Uncertainty. Yeah, there's definitely some uncertainty unknown because you're not seeing it here. You're not. There's nothing in this present moment that is making you feel like the work that you're doing is being appreciated. But Spirit is saying, be, begin to expect less in this earthly realm and more in the spiritual realm. And then you will begin to see and feel it. And therefore, it can begin to factualize in your earthly realm. 
May I live in the noun and relax peacefully into the unfolding, knowing all the pieces of the puzzle will fall into place at the right time and not a moment before. Centered, I hold my center. Change me, divine beloved, into one who holds my center in all situations, no matter how challenging. Fill me with serenity and calm. Wrap me in your faith. All right, Sagittarius, I hope that you were able to find the guidance that you seek in this reading. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.